Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm going to show you how you can easily get your Photoshop actions into Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop Creative Cloud, but this is the same principle whichever version of Photoshop you use. The first step is to locate the file on your computer where you downloaded your actions to. You may find this is a zipped um, or compressed file, um, it's zipped up here for faster download for you. So what you're going to want to do first is unzip or extract the files from this folder. You can do that really easily if you're on a Windows PC by right clicking Extract All or if you're on a Mac you can use the Archive Utility and click OK. So I'm on a Windows PC so I'm going to right click Extract All. It's going to come up with a little window asking me where uh, I want to extract the folders to so you can choose a location on your PC to save the files to and hit extract and you will now be able to access your Photoshop action file. Photoshop actions will be a single file with the extension .atn that's the Photoshop action file so let me just get rid of that for now. So in Photoshop First of all, you want to bring up your action palette if you can't see your actions here. This is my um, current workspace. I like to have layers visible and history. You can click on window and you can choose to show or hide anything up here. So I'm going to choose actions to show on my window. I like to select the actions and drag them in here so they come up in a list. You may see lots of other actions here um, if you have other actions installed. Actions are in folders and you can click the drop down to open them up and see what's included. So one way of getting your actions into Photoshop is simply to locate that file and double click it. And you will see now it's appeared here at the bottom of the Photoshop palette. I like to drag menu actions right up to the top here so they're up there for easy access. Another way of loading your actions is to come up here to these three little lines at the top of your action planet and click load actions. Did I just say action planet? I mean action palette. And then you can locate the folder on your computer, click the Photoshop action file, ATN file, and hit load and again it will appear here at the bottom. I'm just going to drag that to the top. I'm using uh, the LSP Light Chronicles Photoshop Action Set for this demonstration, but this will work with all Photoshop Actions. So you can now open this little drop down and see your actions here. I'm just going to go ahead and get an image opened. The actions are currently in grey mode. You can see them all in a big list this way. You may find your actions are up here. Sometimes they appear up here. If they do, you can always grab them and pull them out because I really find it so much easier to have my actions in a long column here that you can just scroll up and down. You can click on an action and then hit this play button down here and this will play out the commands. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I like to use my actions on coloured mode, coloured button mode. Everything at LSP is colour coded for you already so you don't need to do this. To view them in button mode, coloured mode, you simply come up here to these three little lines, this little hamburger menu, click it and at the top you will see button mode. Select button mode and now you will see the actions look a lot more user friendly. You can simply click the action now, you don't have to click the play icon, you can just click on the action tab and it will play. You may find when you're on button mode your actions look a little bit crazy like this or they might look like this a little bit all over the place which doesn't look too great does it? So again pull the actions out, slide them in here and if they look a little bit crazy like this just grab this side and drag it slowly in and you will see they appear in a neat column stacked on top of each other rather than chaotic like this. 
and now you can simply scroll down and click as you go so for example this is the um, the cherished light chronicles photoshop action suite sorry there i'm really stumbling over my words today so i've clicked play set the scene and i can simply turn these on or off actions are pre-recorded steps in photoshop that allow you to edit a lot quicker um, and with a lot more consistency leaving you to focus on their creative stuff they do all the hard work for you this set is the LSP Light Chronicles Photoshop Action Suite you may have the Signature Newborn um, Portrait Studio Vogue for Baby's Maternity the, it's, it's the same for all of them you can simply click the set you want for example Signature Newborn drag it to the top hit button mode and you will see the newborn actions have now appeared so I've just clicked brighten up baby soft light this is a paint on action it has a black layer mask so I can just paint this on with a brush so that's how to install Photoshop actions into Photoshop I'm using Photoshop CC Creative Cloud but this works with all versions of Photoshop so just for a recap if you cannot see your actions tab click up here on Windows and hit actions to view it drag it in there, turn on button mode and you're good to go. You can download a whole host of actions at www.lsp-actions.com. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.